Hey, Mike here from 28 Fish, and today we're adding some electrical quick connect terminals on the outside of this Yamaha four stroke snowmobile. So, as much as we love this Yami four stroke, the drawback is the cold starts that uh, we experience when it's you know minus 30. So, you might have seen a couple of my other videos where we gave some tips on doing that, but ultimately, you're at the whim of the electrical system because it only has an electric starter, there is no pull rope on this machine. So, in order to um, boost it or charge it, you got to take all these cowlings off, which you know can be a problem. And to be honest, I'm kind of worried with the way that they're designed that when you're working in minus 30, plastic can break real easy. So in order to kind of bypass that, I'm going to try to add two um, electrical quick connects here on the outside of the shroud that'll be connected all the time to the battery so that it'd be easy for a boost or a charge. In order to accomplish this, I'm going to use for the terminals two stainless steel bolts and the second thing that I had to purchase was a short uh, expanded battery cable so I got these these are 15 inch got them from Canadian Tire but any parts store will have them they're already pre-made one side goes to the battery the other to the back side of our terminal it'll that'll come through this cowl and it'll be very easy to do any boosting that we need from now forward okay so next up we're going to just disconnect the negative battery cable here Oh yeah, I was going to tell you too, here's a little tip. So the uh, standard battery for this snowmobile is actually a 200 amp. I had to replace it because mine got um, basically dead. So what I actually did was went to a battery supply place and asked them if they had one of that same series, but it was a little bit more powerful. And I was able to buy a 220 cranking amps and 20 cranking amps doesn't sound like much, but it actually made quite a difference here. This last trip, we got very cold, like minus 26, and the snowmobile started no problem. So it actually uh, helps there. I got it at the uh, Regina Battery Depot, but I'm sure you can get them anywhere if you just ask for a bigger battery. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do here is um, going to attach one of these leads uh, just to test its fit. Uh, so I don't want both because I don't want it to short them out. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a dry run here just to make sure that there's enough room for the cables um, inside of the shroud. My plan is, I think, to mount them here just so that they're not out the side, so I'm not catching them on something, and that they're quite visible. And yeah, it feels like there's quite a bit of room, so it should be good. So what I'm going to do now is just drill two three-eighths holes in the, in the shroud. And I'm going to do it from the top in because um, as plastic gets drilled, of course, it leaves little burrs and whatnot. So we want it to make it look nice. And we're shooting for a 3 8 hole because we want to have this 3 8 bolt to fit through there. So what I'm going to use is one of these, these carbide or, uh, titanium step drills. These things are freaking money, man. I love them. Uh, I'm going to do a pilot hole first just so I can get the line. And then we'll install the bolts. Pretty simple. All right. So I want it to be some the terminals to be somewhat parallel to the edge of this cowling. So I'm just going to use a square here. So I'm butting up there, kind of getting where it looks parallel to me. That looks good. Okay, and I think we'll go about right here. I'll just do a little mark. And we'll give some space. So we'll go maybe about at five and a half. So. Two and a half inches apart. Nice and in line. Good. Now we'll switch to that step drill. So one little trick that I'll show you with these step drills, because it's pretty easy to go through too much material, is to get your gauge by putting it into, you know, roughly the size of the hole that you need. So I know I need to stop there. So if I had a jiffy marker, I would mark that, that step. And then I know I don't want to go past that one. This is a work, of course. It cuts, 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 and that goes right through. So. We're gonna stop right there. I'll maybe see if this pencil will mark it. Just enough to see what I'm doing. Yeah, perfect fit, but we will be coming back from the inside out, but just checking the hole size. Get my second one here. good fit. All right, so we're going to attach the battery cables, Just put them on the inside of the shroud as I mentioned. Okay. 
Nice like that. Flip it over. And go with stainless steel washers here too. Right. And got a lock nut. Nylon washer inside. Get that started. And on the positive, which would be this side, I actually made a little, just a little red piece of plastic. I cut out of the lid of a jar of some kind. And uh, that way it'll be quite obvious which one is positive. Just like that. Just tighten these up hand tight. We're gonna tighten these down on these 3 8 bolts. Of course, these would be a 9 16 So we'll get those snugged up and then we'll add it to the snowmobile. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is put these on first. So obviously you always start with positive. So that way there's nothing to ground out on. So that's how I was taught the hard way. <laughs> All right, so get that screwed down. Tuck that terminal up parallel to the battery just so it's not going to be getting in anybody's way. All right, there's the one for the negative. This one I think will go the opposite just because of the way it lays, the way it lies. There we go. All right. I'm going to put the cowl back on. I'm going to try to find some kind of rubber caps to put over the positive. Not that the chances of that guy grounding out are pretty slim, but at least that way it'll protect anything from getting snagged on it a little bit easier. But uh, yeah. So I hope that tip helps you. Um, I'm looking forward to being able to use this thing instead of tearing the half a sled apart to get to the battery. Uh, for other tips and tricks on sleds or fishing in the Western Canadian sport fishing or specifically in Saskatchewan, check out our other videos. Like and subscribe. We're hoping to grow 28 fish as much as we can. And we love making videos to help others out. And I love being handy. So, Saskatchewan, baby.